tempting as we're getting into the third map. And really, anyone could take this one. It's for the top of the group for NIP. That's yeah. what they're fighting for. They look to go to the semi-finals here in the European Road to Rio. Fnatic, they just want to get through the groups in this game. That would at least lock that in. Let's see if they can do it. And for me personally, every time you type cringe in chat, someone gets their feelings hurt. It's not me. It's not Harry. It's not Hugo. But in this case, it might be the Ninjas in pajamas. Trying to find some footing here on the T side of Inferno to kick things off on this third map. Cringe now, of course, the word of the year, it seems. Word of the decade, maybe, if we continue down this path. Shame on y'all. Locks in the middle area. NIP with a slow approach to this pistol round. I feel like we never see T rushes on of pistols anymore. Where has where that gone, Trace? What's happened? Well, you see this whole like economy thing yeah. has all kind of changed too. And so. tactics and stuff. Anyway, speaking of rushes, they're actually going to show us that. It's ninjas. They show that gumption up there at the top middle, and they're going to be making a play towards the arches real fast, real thick. Are they pumped, though, Harry? Oh, they most certainly are pumped full of lead by Flusher. He actually shuts down Nork. Oh, we're in CT, helped out by Crims, of course. And now this B site, well, it does belong to NIP. They are very much wounded and they're not looking great here in the post plant. This kill would have helped out massively, but Brolin not ready to concede another player Ooh. to NIP. The nade is savage and Plopsky, whoa, well, he gets it very, very close, wow. but close is no cigar here for NIP. Fnatic. They will lock in that pistol round, and they're going to go 1-0 and up. Now, Brolin could have grabbed this kit to his left. You can see that there, but instead he just sticks the defuse straight up. We were having a big discussion about, you know, efficiency within the Fnatic squad. That's an example of them not doing it there. Doesn't matter. He had the round anyway. But, yeah, just a little... Just a little tidbit there on the end. Just a little interjection, you know? Why not? Just Harry. Is it just Harry or just Harry GG? Uh, it's just Harry GG, but not... That's on Twitter. In real life, I'm actually... Just Harry. Oh. It is confusing a sentiment as is that is. Is it short for something like Harold, Harriet, Harrietta? Uh, I think, like, I was... Because I was born very early. You know, okay, well, I was that almost called Harriet. Story. That would have been cool. <laughs> yeah, it could have been a cool thing, I guess. A long time ago. Once upon a time, Harry. We'll discuss your namesake there a little bit after. Of course, we do see that this round is... A little rustled up around the feathers. And if we look now, it's ninjas. They haven't gotten themselves off a T-ramp. No, they haven't. And taking a very, very passive lie, hoping that Fnatic deliver these kills to them and that they'll get rewarded for this patience. Now, maybe they will. Maybe they won't, though. There's two sides to either coin. And at some point, you've got to make a move if you're an IP. So as that clock hits the minute mark, already having burnt some time off of the clock, they will be keen to try and get some uh, some presents over here towards Banana. <clears throat> and now, with this control, looking for a B play. Flusher back here in CT spawn, but not going to be too much of help to Golden here in the site. Flusher does have a smoke or, or a flash rather that he can look to throw through this CT smoke and still get stuck into this round. Ooh. Golden even has a Molotov, but they play contact. They push their way through this smoke. Golden is going to drop that oh, Molly. Man. And Flusher it's actually shows his hand. Grins to find the opener down in mid. You're bang on there, Trace. Flusher has given up his game plan over here in CT. What? The fact that Golden gets away with one there is stellar. That is far more than he... Oh, the nade even blows the AK away for a moment. Flusher going to remove Rez before Lecro gets that trade. The bomb plant gets denied and Fnatic. That is great. They just asphyxiate that B bomb site. Right? They come in and they really make an IP feel very claustropho claustrophobic, very trapped over towards the B yeah, side of the map. Uh, the old strokey jokey and, and NIP, now they're brokey brokey as they have not any money into this third round. The bomb plant got denied by the banana flank. Fnatic's fast rotation there is excellent. Coming back in, we had support from the back of new box, but they were watching CT and couldn't cover off the plant. So no bonus money for NIP and only Deagles in this round. Hugo. Hit Harry with that classic line that you think he hears all the time. Which one? Something about a like sorcery or like. Uh, Trace, I'm trying. Mate. I don't or... know. I don't know. This is. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, okay. there we go. Thank you. Yeah. My God. It is Why like did pulling you say teeth, it? isn't it? <laughs> it's it's like your accent, you know. But anyway, Flush has pushed all the way down. Banana fanatic. 
Don't want to let this round slip away, but they already find themselves down in a deficit by one player, Flusha and JW both out. That's going to leave Golden by himself on B. Ooh. Crimson Brolin to watch out for A. Quick shots there, and that's going to take out Flopsky. Oh, dear. Even bigger shot with Twist on a Deagle. Crimson's out of the round. 2v2. This one has gotten a little sour. Yeah, they're going to go and face Brolin on this A site, but both CTs have a, a plentiful amount of utility. Brolin needs to keep his gun out, though. They smoke short side there and check him, and he finds a one-for-one. One. Lekker trades onto 10 HP, but he's got time for a plant. He knows it. Quick push to the site. Golden rotating CT, and Lekker has got to make the read. Where is he coming? Is he pushing Banana, or is he flanking Spawn? More common to see this spawn play, and Lekro should hear this as well. Golden is being very loud about this rotation, and Lekro should have the drop on him hiding inside of the site. Golden looking for the check, and Lekro is pre-aiming above. He already knows where Golden is coming from, and NIP will finally find a round. Three from Lekro, and one on the board for the T side. It's going to be the Deegs that make it happen. Mm. Yeah, Golden does what he has to do over on Banana, but this round ends up at A, and that's... That one's going to sting a little bit for Fnatic, albeit they're going to buy back up into this one. Spinning it all. Spin it if you got it, they say. Bit of a jewel potentially for JW down mid with the scout, but he's already missed the timing on players that have crossed into Banana. Oh, real battle over here for top banana control and golden doesn't mean to but he catches that molly on his way out top b control taken now for nip and this is quite the position to have now it leaves nips options open to them right as they spread out across the map they look to take this default they're going to try and work for top mid control apps control and the top of banana and from here, they can go anywhere. You know, they can rotate back to B with very little time remaining because they're holding on to that top banana area. It completely eliminates the need to have to recheck all those angles. So it wouldn't surprise me if we see an IP look to try and put that to good use here, especially with the bomb still left back at T-Ramp. An alternative is these B players can just throw utility into the B bomb site to keep the two players from Fnatic there and deny these rotations. Back to B they go though, and IP have gone about their business on the A site, but Fnatic haven't fallen for this fake. They've already decided to rotate two over. They're about to have a four-man B setup, and NIP are walking right into this one. Smokes are down and Fnatic are out, but they're gonna boost above it. And Golden gets a kill. Spam back through the smoke does get a trade though. And it comes at a cost here. Fnatic having to play retake with a scout SMGs. This isn't a pretty buy for them. And IP with crossfires inside of the site and another advantage taken. Smoke spams offer up a lot of opportunities here for NIP. And Crims is running right back. He won't escape with the FAMAS. It's gonna be NIP converting it two to two. Nice little B execute there. Even though Fnatic had the knowledge, they didn't really have the weaponry. And NIP just spammed the smokes constantly, putting Fnatic down. Yeah, speaking of being put down, it's Complexity and Dig. Now, Complexity and Dig went the full distance and then a little bit further and then some more on top of that, Harry. And it looks like Complexity had no intention of slowing down. 11-5 on the second map of the series. Woo, that's a long one over there. Yeah, it's going to be hard for Dig to get back into the swing of things in that matchup, but we'll keep you updated if any more surprises do arise. Rez, he's arisen over towards B, picking up the pace, trying to get in the face of these B-site defenders, and it might just be a B-execute here. For an IP, with that kill through the smoke in top mid, it at least delays the rotation. Fnatic are about to stack everyone apart from Crims over at the b bomb site, and now they can't do that. This is still where NIP are looking like they want to end up, but like time is the one friend that they definitely have right now. And uh, they're very much kind of down to them if they want to commit to this. And they're only up against pistols, so even though they walk into this stack, they still deal with it very, very easily. And this will be a third on the board for NIP as they take the lead in this third and final map of the series. This is it. This is the one. Truly, for Flush and crew, this is not how they envisioned it to start. Now, Hugo, interestingly enough, and I think this is sort of like your area of expertise, I want to talk about 
some of these anti-eco rounds and just how teams can falter them time and time again. And I think it kind of reverts back to the economy situation and discussion we were having earlier. What, yeah, what, sorry, you cut out when he shot and I missed the one word that I need. What, what about the anti -ecos? Uh What I'm saying is teams faltering these anti-ecos time yeah. and time again. It's almost like a common trend this this point. Especially with force buys, right? Actually, this is something we've been talking about a lot on, yeah. on the CT side. When you, you buy triple scout, it's something Astralis has started to do. And we've seen more teams catch on as well. Like buying triple scout, double pistol, tagging players up with the scouts and the pistols winning the rounds. Stuff like that is very common. And, you know, considering how teams play on anti Eco. If you come into it expecting a lot of pistols and then you get met with snipers, that can catch you off guard and that can really affect your game plan. JW is hiding in the mid smoke. He's let them pass. Brolin spam one down, but he's been traded right through it. And JW is waiting for the time to strike. It might just be now. That smoke is beginning to fade and he's walking right through. Oh dear. He's gone to short. He's lost them. He's actually traded places. norka has gone back into boiler. JW playing retake. There's a player right behind him. Oh, there's a player on the car on? as well. Let goes next to him. What's going on? JW finally shows his hand. Nork is too far away to trade, and Flush has got Flush him dead to right as knife. well. No knife needed. It's all about speed. Fnatic need to get this retake on. What? This is so hard. Fella. Lecro, I don't even think he knows where he's meant to be aiming. He's got to try and attempt this 1v4 somehow, but unsurprisingly only gets one. That round is chaos, Ooh. thanks to JW. Crazy. And, you know, even though he only gets two kills from that flank, and it certainly felt like, you know, like with a few more timings going his way, he could have got more. Just the distraction, the chaos that he brings into the comms, into that round for NIP. Like, look, man, Rez is like, what? Yeah, uh, like, imagine just scratching the, his head. It, How is he there? It's the, uh, and I'll just say it for lack of better words, it's the oh shit moment from Rez, where he's just like, oh dear. And then next thing you know, it's got Fanatic's round written all over it. Good stuff there, yeah, albeit. I, you know, like, I, I don't know how much this ever happens within a team like an IP, but it's like, you know, even even when you comm something like that, there's one car. Surely you're thinking, no, there's not. Like, why would there be <laughs> one there, right? Like, it's not an immediate, it's not like an immediate flip of the switch in the brain because there shouldn't be a player there. There never should have been a JW in the back line of NIP. These nades do a lot of damage down it through Banana, already finding Lecro and Rez down to under half HP on Lecro and thereabouts for the second man in question. So Fnatic getting good usage out of this utility. Golden holding close on the other side of this smoke. Wants to just get himself a fight. Has a flash from Flusher. Actually doesn't have a flash from Flusher. JW I think it does. There we go, JW's the man to throw it in. No, there wasn't a flash. That was a T flash going out. He didn't even throw it. He still got it in his hand. So Golden just went contact dry, uh, not waiting because NIP were making a lot of noise at the top of B. That's an unfortunate one. If he went with some utility, maybe he would take a kill, but I think he was pushing off the fact that he heard someone from NIP throw a grenade, but there were plenty more players to trade. And NIP might still want B. They've got the smokes for it, all posted on the CT spawn. Twist sees nothing because Flusher is playing safe. This is pretty standard though. Flusher often playing towards this off angle. So NIP should be ready for it. Smoke coming down, Flusher peeks off the back of that. Bit of damage onto Rez. Now it's up to Crimson the site. He's finished the job and he started another one. Plopski's off as well. The bomb at the ground and now Nork has got a trade. He's got a grenade to do damage to the man at the back of the site, but it actually misses. Bounce off the tippy top of the box. 15 seconds. Nork needs this kill and he's got it as well. Spam into CT, won't connect. JW's pushed the smoke. He's trapped him in a cage and we might see Fnatic go for a kill after time here. This is excellent, but they will find the frag. Brolin rushes it. I, Fnatic, the rest of them, I think JW and Flusher tucked in, wanting the kill after time there because they had him trapped, but Roland comes on a rotation, just gets the job done. No shame. You win the round regardless, so it doesn't really matter. I would have liked to see that for Fnatic, but sometimes safety is the priority, and it is right there for Brolin. 4-3, Fnatic take the lead right back out of the hands of NIP here on the CT side of Inferno. Yeah, they do. No weapon in twist hands. And ultimately, no control of banana, really, from either side. I mean, if you, if you think about it, Fnatic probably have the head up right there. As that smoke is going to lock out Nip. They're still going to try their luck, though. Plops, going to be the one to go through first. A little bit of a guinea pig, and it's Rez that takes the brunt of the damage. Flusha as sort of a response. Meanwhile, this bomb has found its way up towards the top of alt mid, or second mid, if you want to call it that. Tomato, potato. Soccer, football, whatever. It's all there, Harry. 
Yeah, and it's an IP. Spreading out over towards the top of Banana again, going back to this default that they've tried to establish in a lot of these rounds. But now looking to fall back into an A play. They've got all the smokes, all the utility required to make this one happen. JW gets away with a shot through the smoke, but doesn't find a killing blow on the back of it. Real slowdown here from NIP. Crims has actually flashed in and tries to take these fights straight Ooh. up. He gets rewarded with a double before he's put down by Rez. Now with 35 seconds, this rotate from B has got to come through for Fnatic because Brolin is alone at the A side of the map and he's got players all around him. They've had no eyes on long. They've had no eyes over towards the apartment. So Brolin is flying blind right now. This Ooh. is where Flusher... And Golden are going to have to come in to try and right the wrongs, and they will very, very quickly, leaving North in a 1v2. He does at least retrieve the bomb, taps it, baits the peak from Golden, and now a 1v1 to find versus Flusher on the other side. A doable round for Nork, somehow, some way, as he's turned this one from a 1v2 into this 1v1 we see before us. Flusher, armed with the orb, not the ideal weapon for the job, and Nork is repositioned. Uh, yeah, this is basically a one-and-done shot here from Flusher. If he rounds this corner, finds Nock, it's going to have to be that one shot that gets it done. Nock's got the headshot oh. angle. It was easy for Nock. He knocks him down. Flusher is going to see that round go away, and so will Fnatic. We've got a close game on our hands. Meanwhile, speaking of not close games, Complexity of 14-6 over Dignitas. And that's going to be on the D stream, and I do mean D. It's a lot of letters, a lot of letters, Trace. But we got a lot of Counter-Strike to show. And here's some of it. Like you said, Cole up in the lead, about to 2-0. Ents are also 2-0 in the third map against Astralis. They took Nuke away from them, so... That's worth noting as well on the C stream. And of course, if Ents win that game and NIP win their game, that would put NIP at the top of the group over Astralis. That's the only way that can happen. Astralis have to lose this one because both NIP and Astralis currently sitting five and one in their group. Now, this is how the bulk of these series have started, right? With like a very, very close affair. And then usually one team starts to pull ahead towards the end of this first half. Back on Mirage, that was NIP. On Overpass, it was Fnatic. And so here, we're in that kind of similar situation again. And it's NIP looking to get a leg up. Now, there's no real money here for Fnatic. They've only had pistols in this round, so they try and gamble stack. They send everyone over towards B. And that is the wrong decision to make. Free round here for the T side. They'll take that every day of the week. Fnatic have already realized after hearing utility on the other side of the map. So they will be running on the rotate, looking for exit kills here with the pistols. Our NIP gonna offer much up. Good place to hide is the apartments and alt middle. But of course, you know, NIP might just try and save in the pit with this deep plant, so. Playing the apartments does allow you to go full Doja, get aggressive at the end, look for a dink, and uh, the bomb can do the rest. That's why Fnatic are taking their sweet time. They want to trap NIP, and they've done exactly that right now. No way for these Swedes to get out of the site. Do have to hide in the pit as expected. Lecro being pushed back, gets both kills. That's excellent work. Down to Crims now, looking for dinks at the end, but he's being spotted from the bicycle. The AWP will finish a job, and that's a great save for NIP. They get out with four alive. Really, really good round from them. Not letting the ecoing players from Fnatic make it more expensive than it had to be. And talking of expenses, or well, Fnatic putting all their money in this round, trying to find results. Close series sometimes brings on the silence. And for Crims, he doesn't feel that way at all. He pushes all the way down, gets flashed, and it's a disaster. Albeit a trades there. This hit's gonna be on Banana. The bomb's down all the way back in the spawn. So all this might be in vain for the time being. But they've already rounded the corner. And they're already in the B site. It's just 
a flurry Ooh. of action here going back and forth. Rez able to find Flusha before... And, well, Flush is able to take out Plopsky. That gives us a 3v2. Still, the bomb being recovered. Knock now has the opportunity to run A. They have forced this entire rotation from Fnatic to B. Oof. And will they even need to plant the bomb at this junction? Yeah, they know Brolin's here. So, oh, Norky began to run A, but he's going to double back. Of course, you know, with them now losing Brolin, him going quiet, there's always that possibility that he's rotated. So, NIP is just going to play safe. They smoke CT. They have the site. And this plant can be allowed. Now, Brolin... What can he do? He's got a Molly to force out that new box AWP, and he sees the barrel as well. So this Molotov could be a key, but throwing it could force Rez to fight. He's already pushed close. Brolin's going in very late here. Maybe hoping that NIP thinks he's going to save, but Rez hasn't moved a muscle. Eventually, I think Twist pivots. Yeah, there's the look, and there's oh. the shot. Easily <laughs> enough. Twist finds Unlucky. Brolin with AWP. After all, it's said and done. Nip up by two in the third map of the series. Coming up after this, Liquid and Furia in a North American semi-final bout. Yeah, of course, one of those going on to face Gen G in the grand final there. And that's sure to be in a very interesting matchup. We'll be learning who faces off against Daps and his crew after this series. Of course, that is the way that the uh, coin is flipped. And then you have the Super Sunday yep, for the grand finals. That is that grand final. Jinji already waiting there, but who will they be playing against? Those are the things that we're trying to get to the bottom to today. Bottom of, rather. Molly in oh. the window. Got to watch out for that one, JW. And IP have been really good at converting eco rounds in this uh, in this series. They haven't had trouble with Fnatic's force buys. Many teams often do. They lost uh, to the CT force on Mirage after winning Pistol, but that's it. Fake smokes into B to force that utility, but Fnatic have none in this round. It's going to be a bit of a contact pusher in IP, but the bomb isn't here, so it's to, you know the result of this round is depending on the result of these kills, and they have come through, forcing a lot of rotations here. Another man coming in through spawn. That crow should have JW's number if he tries to escape. Oh, get aggressive. Neither of them will work. And Brolin is going to give his try. Oh, dear. He's got the dink. He's hunting down the kill, jumping as well. Great work for Brolin. Gets away with an AK. If he can stop the bomb here, he can win the round. They're all in mid. They're all in second. No one's looking. And Brolin, he throws a smoke. If he fought, he could have won that round on his own. He's still got a chance. But they've passed him. They've already pushed into the site. And maybe saving the AK is the best play he can make. Oh, he's so good, though, and he is yeah. going to get away with the AK. I do love it, right? Like, you, you can even see his thought process in that round there. He knows there's a man in Boiler. He literally turns as he hears a player hopping out from the balcony, and he sees him drop pit, and so just spins on a dime. You see that, like, immediate dedication to, right, well, if they're pit, he didn't see me short. They're not going to be ready for a second man, and this is where I could wreak some havoc. He certainly does, and he will deliver two kills, but that's all that's found for Fnatic in this round. An AK held forward. At the very, very least, and IP seven on the board here. But another investment looming for Fnatic, and this time it's not like, you know, investments of the past where they've always had like some kind of complication, right? Like players on Famuses. They've never had like just a set of M4s, even an AWP if it's available, and now they finally do. So we get to see what this full Fnatic buy is made of in this round here. And now the AWP gets thrown over to JW. He's got that to play around with at the very, very least. Doesn't have armor behind it, which isn't ideal. And only two diffuse kits on Brolin and Golden, but that's plenty. So let's see what they can muster up with this investment. Triple B for Fnatic. Obviously, this utility, they want to dump it down Banana. And NIP have heard this. They actually speed up the pace towards A. It's a great call for NIP. And it all, all it takes is one kill. If they kill Brolin, they can win the round. But JW has something to say about that. Watching the cross, it will get smoked. Brolin's mouse over skips, and he looks the wrong way. He's going to be dead in the pit. JW gone as well. That is a technical issue on the side of Fnatic. And that's never a fun one. 
I want to say that, yeah, you're probably right, but also the idea that he's getting pinched from apartments, maybe, just maybe, he spins it way too fast, and that was the yeah. technical issue there. So. Potentially. I mean, he could have been trying to flick, but he was also getting repeat on a trade. So, you know, 180 there, I would say probably not the best idea. Looked more like a, a bug than anything. Either way, however, it went down. It's like Fnatic in a retake here, and they got to go for it. They need rounds on the CT side. Golden's got to do it alone. He can just stick the bomb. He's on it. He's on the defuse, but the spam is there. And Twist with the orb will keep NIP in the lead by a huge margin. Double the rounds now of that of Fnatic. Man, and, and you know, I, I do hate just talking about the money constantly, but this is one of the problems with this uh, with this CT side, right? And that is that if you end up in this position where you're just losing back to back to back, you get put in this very, very awkward spot where you buy, you lose a round, then you partially invest. Because look, with the loss bonus, they're still going to put something into this round, but it's not great. And uh, yeah. Well, um Carrier Pigeon just arrived. You can kind of hear him in the background if you listen real quietly, real quick. Um, but they had a, a message for us. Oh, there he is again. Uh, the message was this, guys. And yeah, I hate, I'm on the edge of my seat. And, and you should be, because this is a big one. Now, we do have a paused match and probably an appropriate time to do so. Spit it out. The mathematics have been done. Uh-oh. <laughs> and, of course... The numbers! What do they mean? I'm being told that Fnatic are 100% out. And Oof. that is going to be a bitter pill Oof. for the Swedes to try to consume at the very minimum. That's does, that, does that coincide with a pause? Did we just ring them up and like, all right, Fnatic. See, I know you're mid-game, but the thing is you need to know is you can't go through. Wait. Probably not. Was that Rush or? No. Oh. But uh, maybe an attempt at that. I mean... That's an unfortunate reality for Fnatic. So if Nip wins, I'm being told that there's... It, it depends on the Ancestralis game as well, what yeah, happens too, to yeah. Nip. And so we'll still just stay tuned. On Might have preemptively pulled the trigger on that one, but now that it's out there, I just want to thank you know, the Carrier Pigeon for bringing that message in here. It's a sad story. Uh, I, I mean, I wanted Fnatic to go through, but remember, remember one thing, okay, ladies and gents, this is the road to Rio. It doesn't mean Fnatic won't be at the major. It yes, just sir. means that they're not going to be going to the playoffs of this RTR. They're looking for points, and the more points are in the playoffs, right? So Fnatic, regardless of how this one goes, they're still going to get out with some RMR points, and they look to yeah. those later tournaments but in the summer and in the fall to get to Rio. Yeah, there are two more stops on this road to Rio, so don't worry. You know, there's a few teams out there that a lot of people love, that a lot of people want to see at the Major. You don't have to sit there with your head in your hands just yet, because there is still time. Pepe hands, even. Yeah, we're going to have to stop for gas eventually on this road to Rio, if we remember. Oh, we got the gas. Oh, NIP, they are speeding into this site right now. Fast flashes and one man here, Golden. It's got to be the golden god. There's one. Molly on his spot, though, forces him out. And Rez with the immediate trade. NIP have won the round off of that kill. And that kill alone, bomb planted. And Fnatic looking for exits or just any kills they can get at this point. And just, just to be clear, this is information given to me from an outside source. So by outside source, I mean not going to oust anybody here. But I did say it. So there you have it. Lock me up. <laughs> Throw away the key. Wait, well, ain't nobody retaking this round. But Fnatic, they want to at least make it expensive. Pushing the smokes at the last couple of seconds, Crimson with a kill, and the trades are in. They don't really need to fight Fnatic here. They don't need to stick around, because Crimson's going to die with a bomb anyway. So NIP run, one more dice to the explosion, but it's still going to be a ninth here on this T side. This is an excellent game for NIP. In a world where, you know, considering Fnatic are already out, and NIP might not even, like, you know, whether they win or lose this game, as long as Astralis win their game, this doesn't, you know, it doesn't change anything for and, NIP. They're and, still going to the semis. And let's just kind of actually bring this back in. Let me just hone it in here a little bit. Yeah. Because obviously, when it's all said and done, when all the matches are done, that is the only real way we're going to know. Yeah. Uh, but again, the message was given to me. I just try to translate the message and give it back outward to you. Don't worry, Trace. We're not shooting the Don't worry, man. Yeah. I do feel like the pigeon is being shot down out of the air now. 
No one's coming for you with the pitchforks yet. Don't worry. Oh, dear. And maybe there is still time. Rez over here at Banana does have the rest of the gang alongside him, and they are looking for a V-side victory here in this round. NIP setting up, stacking up pretty much everything you can think of outside of this site. And now they look to pull the trigger. Golden is faster on that though the first time around. However, Flusher, his partner in crime at the B site does not fare as well. Golden, that nade finds so much damage and that is just him brought down to his knees. Bomb plant found and he's got to wait for these rotations. Twist even gets boosted up for this angle. Into Whoa. CT, somehow finds JW there to extend this advantage even further in favor of NIP. That Molotov burns out both players at the new box, and that will lead to Plopski getting removed from this round, but the rest of the kills all come up in favor of NIP. 10 on the board now, and Fnatic a chance at five at the end of this first half, but that is the best they can hope for. The reason this has been such a good game by NIP is they've just been abusing that B-bomb site on the T side round after round. And the one time Fnatic has started off with 3B to throw utility, NIP read it. They heard the grenades down Banana and they went for the fastest short A play we've seen all game. Other than that, it's been these B hits. It's been these defaults going into that B site late. And Fnatic often have had rotations towards the A side of things. They haven't had stacks on the B, uh, the B site. And so NIP have just been trading their way to a win. And those retakes haven't really happened. Fnatic haven't had a round since the start of the half. Bit of a push now, wanting to change the pace. They do trade effectively in their favor. Golden getting res, and he can fall back off of that kill as well. Fnatic four on three here in the last round of the half. Every round is going to count here for Fnatic now. Especially considering just the three players alive. Would be a nice little victory here to pick up this map overall. Oh, Roland's turn now. His chance to tear this round away from NIP. And he's done a very good job with those two kills. Twist is fully blind. And they're a little bit backwards around here. And what that means is we are going to have somebody from League Ops come onto the stream at some point today, probably in the very near future, if I had to guess, to explain exactly what it is that's going on around the ESL1 road to Rio. That is the best way that I can provide you clarity. And of course, it's on me for transferring the message to you. Uh, but yeah, as it stands, Fnatic are not out. And our math, well, you know, I am from Alabama, so there is that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. psych, it's surprise, it's this game just, matters again. It's not just hinging on this victory, right? Of uh, course. And the other one that we're looking to is Ensign Astralis. That's about that's still going on. They're in a third map right now, and Astralis are up. So if they manage to find the victory here, and then Fnatic beat NIP, then Fnatic would be finishing in fourth. And that means they are safe. Yeah. So there was still a little bit more... Not quite taken into account there the first time around. We do apologize, but now we'll move on now that we've properly updated the folks at home. But don't worry, we will be shooting every messenger, including Trace. <laughs> for... well, I didn't know anyone needed to get hurt around here, but I guess, like, this oh. is some serious stuff. Yeah. This is a major. This isn't rank S. The road to it, at least. Fnatic, they want this B site right now. Look at the setup. It's a four-man A play for NIP. The smoke is down for Popsky. He spots some players. Fnatic, do they commit? Yes, with the flashes, they go right through. Chasing into spawn as well. Popsky might get caught out throwing grenades, but the flash is excellent. It catches both players. Golden still spams, and Popsky can't find the frag. It's NIP now having to retake in the pistol round, but this is going to be easier said than done. Especially with that deep smoke from Fnatic, we're seeing more and more teams do that. Cutting off the deep side of spawn. They don't have a re-smoke, and so this push will be on. Yep, we are getting League Ops at the end of this round. So, let's keep our eyes tuned in, and more so our ears. Rez is going to find a shot with his USP on the Crims. A little bit of a bait switch. Golden, good for it. But that's going to leave Brolin. Just pushing through a banana smoke twist. Spins on a dime. Finds a kill on a Brolin. This all leads up to Flush. And the back of sight, New Box by itself, does have the Glock. And Knock is going to be there to let it be known. We have Michael Parsons on the line. We can bring him in. And he's going to explain this all Hello. in great detail. This is the man with all the answers. Hello. Hi. Uh, so uh, with the uh, current situation, if Astralis um, beat Ents and Fnatic beat Nip with Vitality already winning, it would leave us the top four of Astralis, Nip, Vitality, and Fnatic going through. Um, Fnatic would be on four wins, whilst Heretics and Ents would still be on three. Um, so that's the situation what we've got with Fnatic staying in. Um, and then the other ones, basically, Heretics still have a chance to come in. Vitality, Ents, everyone's still in the running, um, apart from the two 
teams on stream D. Okay. Well, thank you, Michael. Make sure you don't go too far. And uh, I'm sure we're going to be calling you back here in the near future. <laughs> but thank you so much for the update. Well, Fnatic and Man up in this round. They may have lost the pistol, but the force is on board, and they are heading towards this B bomb site. NIP with a triple rotation. Very prepared for this one. They've not fallen for it, and that's because Lecro's got the info on mid. He spotted it. He knows it's clear. And now NIP, their stack is going to be valuable. Twist is coming in with a kill. The spam for Twist with two, but Crims checks the boost and drops north. He's low in the process. Spamming on five HP is such a risk. Crims can easily get sprayed right back because of his traces. And gets boosted up for that kill. Flusher finding the trade again. And Fnatic won't let the ball drop, but finally it might get uh, st stolen right out of their hands, I mean. Oh dear, Electro coming in on that mid flank. And that's the info that allowed NIP to, to stack B, right? Electro spotting mid. So of course he's fast in the banana and quick in with a retake to put NIP on 12. Yeah, we're talking about all these what ifs and buts, but with how things are looking right now, this path throughout this event is not looking good for Fnatic. Yeah. Seven rounds behind and they need this series win if they want to have a shot. Obviously still relying Astralis beating ends, but it's looking like that might happen over on the C stream. Astralis 11-4 up at the end of that first half of play. And they're also on Inferno as well. So now NIP 12-5 up. They find the pistol. They get the conversions. Things are looking good here for the NIP boys. There's a partial investment here from Fnatic with the goal to still have some money in the next. Flusher opens wow. this round up with a nice little 1D. You can now the fast A play from Fnatic. Rez only able to get one with that MP9. A bit of chip damage dealt by Twist. And now Lecro looks to get his share of the pie over in middle. Boy, oh boy, JW is not keen on sharing. He will get that trade onto Lecro. Two on two now. And Twist trying to answer the Ooh. call. But a D from Flusher in the apartments. Has delivered that kill and a man advantage now to Fnatic with the bomb planted. Nork wow. falls as well. And Flusher and JW armed with only Deagles put that sixth round on the board for Fnatic. Look at some of these shots from Flusher. Oh dear. JW was even getting spammed through default there from long. So that kill from Flusher, that second one really is worth its weight in gold for Fnatic. And they're looking for that first place. They've got to pull the comeback here and now, finding a round on the T side. How many more can they get? They are armed, but an IP now having to force. And I say that. Some of them are even going to be saving armor, or saving money, not buying armor. Twist and res alike. Fnatic, where do they want to take this T side? This is definitely a winnable game, despite the rough first half. Oh, timing here. Twist peaks mid. JW just switches back to his gun in time, but the smoke on long will be behind Twist. He pushes the forefront, and JW finds the fight. They're going to double back towards the B site potentially here. Yeah, that bomb was initially peeling back. They have top B as well. NIP have triple stacked here. They're reading into things. They're ahead of the game. They know where Fnatic are going before Fnatic have made their own decisions. It's like a Keanu Reeves level gauge things, Harry. Ooh, Nork here, playing on the coffins. Headshot, of course. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> the Plopsky will respond with one. This means they're probably going to discount Rez on the boost, but JW at least gets that trade. Still a man advantage for Fnatic as the bomb plant comes in, Nork. Okay. Well, Flusher... <laughs> just deletes him through the smoke. I don't even know what to say anymore. Lecro's in a 1v3, and this has been a very unfortunate round for an IP. They barely even get to see Fnatic, and there's Flusher solidifying it. It's another round where it's just Flusher and JW to get all the kills for Fnatic. Oh, Flusher. Trying to keep their hopes alive over here. It's just going to be pistols from the looks of it for Nip. And here we go. JW 
with a head start up towards the top of middle. Gonna pop some flashes for him there and maybe get their entire squad out here in middle even, really. JW dropping the Molotov towards Cubby. And ultimately, mid control now has fallen to the Fnatic side. Just pistols for Nip. Really, only one player here. Let's see what's going on the B bomb site real quick. Oh, yes. Yes, I think. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. More like, at least for uh, NIP, they've realized they are too far away. Yeah, and as we catch that mow down in the lower third from Brolin, the second half of a very weighted, very important affair here between Ents and Astralis is underway. And for Fnatic fans around the globe, you're not only hoping that they can win in this series here, but you've also got to be a temporary Astralis supporter uh -oh. as you're hoping they can take down Ents in that series alongside Fnatic picking up a victory here. If Fnatic do want to qualify yeah. for those playoffs. So technically, it should be that easy. Not to confuse the whole world, it should be that simple. Fnatic need to win, Ents need to lose for Fnatic to qualify. As it stands, kind of what we're looking at, isn't it? Yeah, but this game is not decided, right? Fnatic have found life in the second half. They have found three in a row. And now armed with guns, NIP back with a vengeance. A four-man A setup to count the players in the spawn. They've peeled away from that triple B initially to set up utility. Rez overwhelmed, and Brolin takes him down. The MAC-10 doesn't even need to, as AK's rushing long north. Oh, dear, the spray. He catches them both. Golden tries to run away as he gets flashed out by Letgro, but that just offers him up to north. Letgro finding a third in the round as well. Bottom drop trade is in. JW with a chance to plant. No one on his side of the site. And there is a player coming in from the back line. Flush has cut off the closest rotation on long. And now both players in spawn for NIP. Flusher could just go apps and play this post plant. That would be excellent for Fnatic. Another very doable round for this dynamic duo of JW and Flusher. This has proven to be the driving force of Fnatic in the latter stages of this game. Flusher gets away with damage. JW takes the fight as well. Does get tag dropping into the pit and Plopski trying to get on the bomb, but Flusher finds him. It's four kills between Flusher and JW. And in the last three rounds, out of a, uh, oh sorry, last four rounds, I guess, because Brolin did get that 4K up against the Eco. But in these rifle rounds, which are really the most important thing yeah. right now for Fnatic, out of the last three rifle rounds, it's been 14 of the 15 kills for this duo of JW and, Fnatic, uh, and Flusher. So that is unreal. Like, they are just coming alive here. And Brolin stepping up in amongst that, he gets the other five that were available. So you are just looking at these three players in the last four rounds delivering everything for Fnatic. And that might be enough, right? If they can keep it up. Inferno is a map where a couple of well-placed kills can just win you around by default. As long as you find them in the right place and the right time. More often than not in this B site, at least that's where NIP found so many of their T rounds. 10-5 half. Fnatic need to one-up it, but it has been a series of T-sides anyway, so let's see a few more. Apartment to buy a spotted, but Rez, what a shot, finds Crims. It's a double setup with a bait. Zeus there as well. No one coming hallway yet, but JW could later. He's in the apartments. The bomb is still dropped from T-Ramp, but Fnatic need to pick it up if they want to go towards his A-bomb site. Smoke thrown into, if anything, let Fnatic get CT, but spraying through it is golden. He'll find Lecro in the meantime. This Zeus could have effect. Trace, get your sound effects ready, because Twist is waiting. Okay, fine. Is that what you want? You want it one more time for the road to Rio? Psych, well, JW's walked back. Yeah, not today. In fact, not for Flushy either. He's going to get dig down in the face. Well, Fnatic wanted to go B, but with that kill, they're going to they're gonna give it up because they've lost top banana control. They've lost their one player there. And now they have to walk back into this setup here from NIP. Maybe there's still time oh. for the Zeus yet. Yeah. Or maybe Rez steals this whole round away from down in the pit, armed with nothing more than a Deagle and his wits about him. Second kill in the round now for Rez. He still has Twist up in the apartments as a bit of an X factor. So even as he gets dealt with, if you're Fnatic, you're not aware Ooh. of just how deep these uh -oh. players already are. It's JW left in the clutch. He does shut down Nork, but Ooh. there's the trade from <laughs> Twist. And NIP 13 now on the scoreboard. This eco round finds it for them. 
Fnatic are going to be kicking themselves. This comeback looked like it was underway. This 10th round felt guaranteed, and it turns against them here. Yeah, that's all down to not getting that kill at top B with a Deagle, right? Not just that, but Twist plays this round excellently. While Rez gets a lot done with his Deag, Twist has nothing but a Zeus and USP. He doesn't show his hand. He doesn't fire a shot, despite everything going on, despite Fnatic moving two players up short and getting a plant. Twist waits until he's in a two-on-one to tell his teammate to stick the bomb, and then one taps the last player with his USP. Cool shot. You got to give them that. And by Rez, they're falling off a bow. So all things considered, Nip back into it. 13 to 9. JW on the AOP. And Golden's going to show his hand if we're going to talk about showing things. Right up here at the top of middle is full control here for Fnatic at top mid. And what that's done is cost four players from Nip to converge on this A bomb Ooh. site. They've got two over here towards the arch in the form of Rez. He's not alone. Nox going to be there keeping him company. Meanwhile, all on his lonesome. Plopski, the sole B defender. But no one's home. No one wants to play with Plopski. Yeah, these gambles for NIP have been really well read. They've been on the, you know, stacking on the on the right side when Fnatic go there. Fnatic walked into a lot of triple Bs in the past as well. But right now, it is open for the taking. Plopski throwing down his last smoke. He's got a Molotov as well. Rotate is available for Lecro. Or Rez, rather, who's close in the spawn. Fnatic group as a four-man unit inside of Banana. Golden on alert. It's low. Oh dear, he's made some noise, but he's found a timing. He's found a gap. Rez will close it instantly, just like that, but it's still only down to one man in B. Plopski has to hold the line. Oh, it's a messy spray, but he's found two. And Crims is so low as well. He's had to pick up the AWP, not known for his snipers, but he's found a kill. Plopski cut off. Nork does trade, leaving Crims in the hot seat. 1v4 for Crims here and a weapon. We don't often see him dawning. Not gonna get a chance in this round. A Zeus on the body as well. The ultimate disrespect, perhaps. 14 on the board <laughs> no, for he's an trying IP. To, he's trying to defib him. He's oh, trying to wake course. him up. Ah, Actually, it was a very yeah. nice so Resuscitating his opponent. Ah. What would be like the inverse of that for coming back to life? What? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could count on you to deliver there, Trace. Oh. What a mow down from Plopsky as well, considering NIP only had a solo B player, yep. and, and then Fnatic mess up the smoke towards spawn, giving a massive gap. That's unfortunate. And speaking of Inferno, that Astralis Ints game still going on, and Ints have put a few round, excuse me, a few rounds towards the war effort at least. Yeah, that That's was 11 full CT for Astralis. If you are interested in watching that at the same time as this, that's twitch.tv slash ESL underscore CSGO C. That should be where you find the game. Meanwhile, Ninja is just two rounds away from locking this one out. Yeah, top of the group for a reason. The only team that's been able to beat NIP at the Road to Rio has been Astralis. And that was even a 2-1 affair. NIP were able to take a map and actually leads on both maps following up, bottled by them. But... Other than that one series, which will leave a bit of a bitter taste in your mouth, NIP have been excellent here in the online region. Two rounds away. Fnatic may have been clawing back in this game with four in a row when it came to the rifles, but NIP back-to-back -back rounds off of that eco win from Twist and Rez. I say Twist and Rez like it was a two-man effort. Really, everyone had their moments. Nork especially, actually. So right now, NIP in pole position to shut this series out. That is true. This is a pretty huge round for Fnatic. If yeah, Fnatic may match up well against some of the best teams in the world, but versus the Swedes, they have a little bit more problems, don't they? They lost to Dignitas, and they might now be losing to NIP. Both teams that are rated below Fnatic in the ranking. So sometimes these domestic games can get a little interesting, but not the interesting that Fnatic wanted. Uh-oh. It's a bit of a problem. Perfect timing there on the Molotov from JW and Golden. They eliminate Rez from the Covey. And potentially keep their hopes alive right here in this crucial round for Fnatic. Lecro set up from the pit. Smokes are going to start to fly over the A site like a Fleur de Lis. He's not alone here either. Twist is going to be the first one to fall. Lecro now stands. Soul Defender. He's going to line him up. Tons of damage done, but no kills found. That might just be the save call straight away here from Plopsky and Nock. Yeah, it does look like it. So double digits for Fnatic. Big round to stay alive. 
Yeah, desperately clinging on though. Still behind, still four rounds behind that of NIP and a little ways away from reaching Easy Street, our Fnatic, right? They're really gonna have to grind their way through this game because there's still money available to NIP. They're still looking good in that sense. If they're able to hold on to these guns and that's even better. Fnatic also aren't really in a position to hunt, even though they love doing that. Yeah. You don't want to risk, you know, sending your own economy into turmoil up against 14 rounds. So they make the decision to keep five players alive. And that's also nice for Fnatic because at this point, you know, they are just buying until they either win or lose this game. And that's nice. You know, you're not, not going to have to play out any of these horrible, you know, four spies up against match point. You're at least going to have some rifles into the future. And that's now a guarantee for Fnatic. Orp is out for Twist again. Not seen JW frequently orping on the T side of this map, but he will be coming back to battle. Flash up the top of middle. Twist sits on long side, so he's not taking any aggressive fights, just waiting for the contact play from Fnatic. Obviously, there's early banana utility thrown down by an IP, and they rotate one man back towards A, it's Rez. Banana taken early. Fnatic actually move a player past the smoke into the logs. It's only going to be Flusher holding on to position while the rest of his team work middle. They've got to get past this AWP first. They've got the bomb, and now they're going to look to make a move over here towards A. Flusher is selling this lurk at the B bomb site, and his whole goal is to keep players here for NIP. You'll note thus far, he's done a good job of keeping players here for NIP. And now actually trying to extend this foothold even further. While all this is going on, the rest of Fnatic is still at short side, and Flusher... How much success is he going to have while well, this A-side execute comes in? Let's take a look at that now. Let Crow Ooh. shutting down Brolin. The bomb gets dropped with it. Crim's trying to get out through the apartments, using this smoke as a bit of a one-way. Improv oh, for Crim's hops down into the pit, and that will be his last hurrah. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Heartbreaking <laughs> scenes for Fnatic. Oh. oh, JW as well is just left jumping up at it at the end. That's the saddest sight you've ever seen. <laughs> JW like a like a little puppy or something, hopping up, trying to get the uh, the attention and love of the bomb. But man, what a way to lose and concede yeah. match and series point to NIP, who might be about to take this series two to one over Fnatic. I mean, the bomb was a small problem in a myriad of, of difficulty for Fnatic, right? They didn't get any of the kills into that site. So even if they had the bomb, they would have probably still lost the round, but that's an awful way for it to go down. Dear, oh dear. I would love to see the pressure of someone having to hit a skill jump there. Obviously, if there were no CTs in the way. I feel like JW would be a man up for the task, but he can't really mess around on the balcony with NIP being all over the A site, can he? So 15-10, Fnatic still armed, still dangerous, but are they going to be here to stay is the question on our mind. Smoke on the long corner, often thrown by Tease, is now thrown by Twist as he wants to keep Fnatic out of here. And even pending the outcome of this round, Fnatic are not out of the running for the major. Let's just make that very clear. As Brolin tries his best to bulldoze his way into this A bomb site. 4v3. Now Nip are going to wow, save wow. again. 15 11. A spray from Knock on his way out of the site. Out of sight, out of mind is where Nip want to put themselves. Bomb has been planted. Meanwhile. Things have really heated up for Ints and Astralis. 12 to 10, it's about to be 13 10. Sonny's going to save in that round. A lot of close games going on. Yeah, I mean, well, that's the thing, right? On these final days of these round robin groups, that's when the pressure really appears and every matchup means more than the last. So, of course, teams are bringing their A game, bringing the heat and never giving up. Fnatic, they may have been down in a lot of situations, especially in this map as well, but they have, you know, kept fighting, and that is respectable. However, it might still be in vain, right? Four rounds in a row, and that's only to open up over time in this third map of the series. And IP have four chances to win one round. 
Yeah, but do Fnatic have the fuel to put on the fire? That's going to be the big question. Well, they are bringing the heat right now, Trace, and still looking to have some legs on this series off Fnatic. They need four in a row to force an overtime here versus NIP. The odds very much stacked against them, but this team, one that's full of surprises, trying to keep that dream of the playoffs alive. Flusher caught between two Molotovs there at Banana, forces him to take that peak and concedes an early advantage to NIP. They're even gonna start to push down Banana. This is huge. Oh. This is gonna afford more players over towards that A side of the map. Nork is coming in very, very fast on this flank. Twist has dropped the bomb. Oh, NIP, this might be the round that seals the deal on this series. Three on five now for Fnatic. Their backs against the wall, and this is where they've got to do their best work yet. Yeah, JW Ooh, and Plotsky no. gonna miss each other on a timing. JW goes back yes. in. He yes. sees the knife, he yes. sees potential. Yes. Go on, JW. Get it. Give it to him. Oh, hold on, he's playing it smart here. He waits for it, does get the knife at the end of it, but still could have got tons of information out of that play. And overall, that creates a lot of unnerving settlement here for the side of the ninjas of pajamas. This is a yep. good position for Nork, though. Oh, I didn't think he was going to swing. Uh, maybe it would have been better if he stalled it out, right? Because he's getting flanked from JW, but JW can't find him in the banana. That was down to the rest of Fnatic to clear it out. Rez just spraying a smoke, and JW's going to fire right back at him. Fnatic, because of this knife, have just won this round. Yeah, everything about that knife just turns that whole round upside down for NIP, right? Because JW gets that in CT, and you've got no info. Like, you didn't even know he was there to begin with. And so at that point for NIP, it's like, well, if we didn't know about JW, how many more players exactly. could there be in the back line, right? And I think that's why you see Nork take that aggressive swing from his position. Because in his mind, he's worried about getting pincered from the B bomb site, and he wanted to make sure that Banana was clear. And it was not clear. It was anything but. That is where the majority of players for Fnatic resided, but NIP never had that information. Everything in that round comes off Fnatic. And let's not forget, that was a three on five. And those yeah. same three players stay alive, see it through right to the very, very end. Fnatic, still a chance in this game. And that is, this, okay, we're looking at it right here as our moment of brilliance by Intel. It's, it's that, to me, that is the definition of making a play. Yeah, it's not definitely. so much about the emphasis on the knife, and yeah, that's going to help with the, the money, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you're already backs against the wall, but he made a play right there. They end up splitting B, and it goes pretty much according to plan, even though they are down with just three guys. That's so hats off. Kudos to Fnatic. Yeah, even the, the small details of like going for a knife, not giving away, you know, not shooting, not drawing more attention, right? A gunshot's going to make more noise. I mean, I'm really reaching here. I, I just like it for the style points more than anything. Of course. And of course, the BM aspect, right? I'm, I'm sure NIP aren't in their own heads here. Although they've lost a few rounds in the CT side, they, they're still in control. They're still holding match point. And so I don't think that will tilt them, but it could. And, and that's all JW's looking for, the, the micro chance that someone gets upset by that. And that could give Fnatic even a little bit of leeway back into this game. They're certainly feeling it. They're going in for first place, and they need three rounds to do so. To at least get to OT, right? Yeah, and then we start it all over again. Yes, indeed. And then, at the conclusion of that, we're going to have Furia and Liquid in a, in a semi-final. Let's see. Maybe Nip can close the door here. Big chance at it. Twist with the AWP. Knock with the AWP. Knock might just be the first one to get some presence shown in his way here this round. Takes a oh. shot, it's flashed off, nothing to hit there. Pop flash from Plops, big moment for him. He lines oh, up two, and this yeah. could be the beginning of the end for Fnatic. Two kills go down, it's Crimson Brolin. And again, we're left with a trio of Fnatic players just to try to keep this one alive. Yeah, they do manage to flush Plopsky out, but Rez pushes through the CT smoke and ends Fnatic's life.